Welcome to the Tuesday, November 20th, 2012 edition of Werner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, we look at the latest hog slaughter projections as Thanksgiving approaches, and later, a recap of shell egg inventories and the market's latest trends. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Ruby Tuesday has named Darden Restaurants Incorporated Chief Marketing Officer J.J. Butkin, President and Chief Executive of the company. Casual Dining Chain also named its lead director, Matthew Drapkin, as board chairman. Both appointments are effective December 1st and follow the retirement of founder Sandy Beal as Ruby's chairman, president, and CEO. For more on Ruby Tuesday's latest hire and for other Center of the Plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. Now here's Erneberry Pork Market reporter Russell Barton with the latest hog slaughter projections as the industry heads into the Thanksgiving holiday. The pork slaughter poll for the week ending November 24th conducted on Monday resulted in an average estimated harvest of 2,086,111 head. If realized, this estimate for the shortened holiday week would be around 16,000 head or 0.7% over last year's Thanksgiving week. Estimates for Saturday vary widely, although the consensus shows that participants may make a concerted effort to make up for a down day on Thursday. Since the beginning of August, the pork slaughter totals have averaged just over 77,000 head greater than a year ago on a weekly basis, so in context, a 16,000 head increase from a year ago is a relatively conservative estimate. Thanks, Russell. To conclude today's video, Ernerberry Egg Market reporter Brian Moscagieri provides an update on U.S. shell egg inventories. This week's national shell egg inventory is reported by the USDA to be 1,007.8 thousand cases representing a 13.2% decrease from last week's figure, but is up 6.6 .6 from the same week last year. Breaking inventory is down 2.1% week over week, totaling 243.5 thousand cases, and has now declined 11.5% year over year. The total shell egg inventory is 1,251.3 thousand cases, down 11.2% this week, but is up 2.5% from the same period a year ago. Retail demand has improved to a very good level for some as consumers began filling their Thanksgiving needs over the weekend. Store door orders continue to improve, which is no surprise given the last minute nature of shopping patterns before the holiday. Traders are mostly quiet to start the week, though awaiting reorders as supplies clear the shelves. Extra large and large are the best in position, and prices here have advanced by roughly 3% since our last report. The other sizes are mixed from plant to plant. Some are concerned with the extended period before Christmas due to the early Thanksgiving date this year, but most are confident that the market will remain at least steady into and through most of December. Thanks, Brian. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.